Jerome Kagan's essay, The Nature of the Child, delves into the intricate interplay between biology and environment in shaping a child's development. Through a nuanced exploration of the roles played by genetics, temperament, and cultural influences, Kagan offers a compelling perspective on the nature versus nurture debate. Kagan begins by asserting that a child's inherent temperament, influenced by genetic factors, serves as a foundational element in their developmental trajectory. He argues that some children are born with predispositions that make them more prone to certain behavioral traits, such as shyness or sociability. Kagan's emphasis on the biological underpinnings of temperament challenges the notion that all children are blank slates, awaiting the imprints of environmental influences. However, Kagan does not discount the significance of environmental factors. He acknowledges the reciprocal relationship between nature and nurture, highlighting how external stimuli can shape a child's temperament and behavior. Cultural influences, in particular, play a pivotal role in molding a child's worldview and social skills. Kagan suggests that a child's temperament interacts with their cultural context, leading to diverse manifestations of behavior even among children with similar genetic predispositions. The author introduces the concept of goodness of fit to underscore the importance of aligning parenting styles with a child's inherent temperament. He argues that an optimal match between a child's disposition and their environment fosters healthy development. For instance, a shy child may thrive in an environment that values introspection, while an outgoing child may flourish in a more socially engaging setting. Kagan's emphasis on the dynamic interaction between nature and nurture challenges deterministic views and underscores the importance of individualized approaches to child rearing. Furthermore, Kagan addresses the limitations of temperament based predictions. While acknowledging the influence of genetics, he contends that environmental factors, such as quality of parenting and educational experiences, can significantly alter a child's developmental trajectory. This perspective challenges deterministic views by highlighting the malleability of a child's nature through nurturing and supportive environments. Kagan also delves into the influence of societal expectations on child development. He argues that cultural norms and societal pressures contribute to the shaping of a child's temperament and behavior. The essay implies that children are not passive recipients of environmental influences but actively engage with and interpret their surroundings based on their temperamental dispositions. One of the essay's strengths lies in its balanced approach to the nature versus nurture debate. Kagan neither dismisses the significance of genetic factors nor underplays the impact of environmental influences. Instead, he paints a nuanced picture of child development, where the interplay between nature and nurture is complex and multifaceted. In conclusion, Jerome Kagan's The Nature of the Child navigates the intricate terrain of child development, emphasizing the dynamic interplay between genetics and environment. By exploring the concept of temperament, the role of cultural influences, and the importance of a good fit between a child's nature and their environment, Kagan offers a comprehensive and nuanced perspective on the factors shaping a child's developmental journey. The essay challenges simplistic dichotomies and underscores the need for a holistic understanding of the complex forces at play in the nature of the child.